good morning dear colleagues and my dear students this is vikram reddy school student arts at jpss kusmanchi uh, kamam district uh, we are in the lesson atmosphere we came to uh, an end uh, we, we shall conclude the lesson today we discuss we are discussing about the uh, types of precipitation and we are discussing types of uh, uh, rainfall so we already discussed about the uh, one type of uh, rainfall that is convectional uh, rainfall today we shall discuss about other uh, two types of uh, uh, rainfall the second one uh, is orographic uh, uh, rainfall uh, this uh, is also called as uh, orogenic uh, uh, rainfall because the term is uh, uh, derived from a uh, from greek language it is a greek word oros oros means mountain means mountains are the uh, cause for this particular uh, rainfall so the rainfall is called as orographic uh, rainfall how uh, this rainfall occurs when a mountain come across the wind uh, which consists of moisture it forced to rise over the mountain means uh, the wind try to cross the mountain so the windward size mountain uh, receive heavy rainfall generally uh, the wind when it tries to cross the uh, mountain the air rises up as we know due to the normal uh, lapse rate the temperature at the higher altitude will be more uh, so the air cools down and the condensation uh, takes place and uh, the clouds uh, will burst in the form of rain so the one side of uh, uh, mountain receives heavy rainfall after uh, reaching after crossing the mountain the winds which Uh, were lacking of uh, the cross the uh, mountains only the lacking of uh, uh, moisture so the leeward side of the mountains they won't get uh, less rainfall or sometimes they get the receives only less rainfall so the area is called as rain shadow uh, region uh, i will show you here the air uh, which is uh, blowing from this area which is moving from this area when uh, it it got a mountain across its uh, way the wind tries to uh, cross the mountain so in that process uh, the wind uh, moves to the higher altitudes so go on we are going uh, higher uh, altitudes the temperature uh, will be decreases so at uh, at the uh, decreased temperatures the water vapor or the moisture which lies in the air uh, will get condensed means the water vapor will turn into water droplets so the water droplets uh, forms uh, clouds so at this uh, lower temperature at higher altitudes uh, the clouds cannot hold these water droplets and they uh, burst in the form of rain so if you observe uh, this side of uh, the left side of mountain it got heavy rainfall so uh, the wind after giving rainfall it crossed the mountains but the wind which came which crossed the uh, mountain di did not have moisture so the empty air uh, moves this side so uh, though it it is located at the higher altitudes uh, due to the lacking of uh, less moisture or due to the lacking of moisture it won't give uh, rainfall uh, other side or it will give only less rainfall other side so this region is uh, um, called as rain shadow region uh, so if you observe this uh, one side of mountain will get more rainfall and the other side of the uh, mountain it won't get rainfall or it get only less rainfall so the rainfall which occurs uh, while crossing the mountains so this is called as uh, orographic uh, uh, 
uh, rainfall the area which is affected uh, by this orographic rainfall is called as rain shadow region so if you take india as uh, example orographic rainfall is uh, common along the western coast of uh, india particularly the western coast uh, is uh, uh, occupied by the western ghats as we know the moist the air uh, which consists of uh, moisture or water vapor from the western sea arabian sea it, it try to uh, reaches the land part but in between the uh, arabian sea and land part we have western ghats so the sea uh, the air which is uh, uh, moving from arabian sea it try to it force it to uh, by the western ghats to rise up it try to cross the western ghats so when uh, when the process uh, crossing the western ghats it result in expansion as the air moves upwards uh, because it is a light air so light air expands and after reaching higher altitudes the air cools down and it uh, burst in the form of uh, uh, rainfall in the western part of uh, karnataka so as usually the other side of western ghats that is rain shadow region so the central part of the deccan plateau uh, do not get rain so the west karnataka uh, gets heavy rainfall but at the same time the central and east karnataka uh, won't get uh, sufficient rainfall so that region uh, will remain as the dry uh, region if you observe uh, this is the western part of uh, karnataka which consists of western ghats so due to the orographic effect of the orographic uh, rainfall the other portion of the uh, western ghats this area you can observe this as the rain shadow region where the rainfall is very less this happened due to the effect of uh, orographic uh, uh, rainfall here you can observe this type of uh, um, orographic rainfall near aravalli mountains uh, so in some areas uh, like india satpura mountain mountains areas also uh, we can observe orographic uh, rainfall and the other uh, part other side is considered as the rain shadow uh, region so these are the Mm, effects of uh, uh, orographic uh, uh, rainfall the third uh, type of rainfall is uh, cyclonic rainfall actually cyclone is the uh, a greek word uh, which uh, uh, derived from greek word called as cyclone so which meaning uh, is revolving so here uh, the air revolve around itself uh, air revolves so that's why the rainfall which we get uh, by the revolving of air is called as cyclonic uh, uh, rainfall basically the cyclonic rainfall is of uh, two types first one is the tropical cyclones and the second one is the temperate cyclones so as we know the tropical cyclones means the cyclones which uh, occurs in between the tropical uh, zone in between tropic of uh, cancer and tropic of uh, capricorn particularly in the sea coasts of uh, uh, tropical continents uh, so the cyclones are called uh, tropical cyclones next the temperate cyclones means the cyclones uh, uh, which occurs in the uh, temperate zone in between 35 degrees and uh, uh, 60 degrees uh, Uh, so they are called as temperate uh, uh, cyclones so the important uh, one which affects the world is uh, tropical uh, cyclones if you observe uh, the photo this is a tropical a photo of tropical cyclone the center area is called as i i of the uh, cyclone this wheels are forming uh, due to the effect of the uh, wind uh, they are the warm core Uh, circulation of tropical origin with a small diameter actually when compare with the temperate cyclones the tropical cyclones uh, uh, are they confined uh, for less area with a small diameter these cyclones occur naturally the cyclones uh, uh, will be in circular shape minimum surface pressure with the maximum wind speed of 33 meters per second 
if the wind speed is uh, 33 meters per second that leads to the uh, formation of cyclones basically in tropical cyclones wind speed uh, generally will be in 33 meters per second in temperate uh, uh, zone uh, cyclones uh, the wind speed will be more than 33 34 degrees uh, so Uh, these cyclones developed in the warm sea surface where the temperatures are uh, uh, 26 to 27 degrees centigrade and they move towards the land how the cyclones will form uh, i will show you here uh, this is the uh, ocean part generally in uh, summers the ocean part uh, uh, due to its nature the ocean part uh, or the water part uh, uh, will heat up slowly Uh, after it uh, getting heats uh, low pressure belt uh, low pressure area forms uh, in the ocean so the low pressure area air will also get heats up and due to its light weight uh, the low pressure area air in the ocean moves upwards and they reaches high altitudes and there it become cool and again the cool air uh, Uh, it reaches uh, try to reaches the surface uh, ocean surface so in this process uh, this uh, uh, process means uh, heating up of air and moving towards high altitudes and again uh, getting cool and uh, uh, reaching uh, uh, lower uh, uh, surface this happens uh, very fast so this le- this leads to become a cycle the process become uh, cycle in this process uh, it leads to the formation of uh, mm, uh, it 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 gives uh, rain so due to due to this uh, circular uh, movement of air the low pressure forms and the uh, cyclones uh, will form the circular movement of cyclone lift of the uh, wind the uplifted air will give heavy rain falls if you observe this this is center uh, of the cyclone which is called as eye of cyclone the light weight air which is affected by the surface of the ocean part will move upwards so as it uh, the air moves upwards as we know the light weight due to its light weight the air expands after expansion it cools down at the higher altitudes and it try to reaches the uh, earth while reaching the uh, earth it gives rain uh, and it forms uh, uh, a circular uh, Uh, flow so this is called as uh, um, cyclone uh, this happens near the tropical areas ocean parts of the uh, tropical areas that's why it is called as a tropical cyclones example for the tropical cyclones are uh, hurricanes hurricanes in uh, uh, near uh, uh, usa and typhoons uh, uh, near philippines in pacific uh, uh, ocean these are the famous uh, uh, cyclones uh, generally we low pressure cyclones will form in the bay of bengal and arabian uh, oceans also but these hurricanes and typhoons uh, um, will lead to lead to the higher uh, losses on the land part which are near to the uh, surrounding uh, uh, ocean parts so this is about uh, uh, tropical uh, cyclones so next one is uh, uh, temperate cyclones generally temperate cyclones uh, will form in between 30 degrees and 60 degrees uh, uh, in the temperate zone uh, this is uh, almost all same this occurs when the cold air converge with the warm air and as we know the lighter uh, warm air uh, consist of lighter uh, light weight uh, the, when they converge uh, both uh, Uh, mixed up the warmer and lighter air is lift, lifted up uh, the denser cold air and results in the uh, rainfall as we know the warm air consists of uh, light uh, uh, weight it try to lift up and it cools down and it will give uh, rainfall in the almost all uh, the style of uh, formation of cyclones is same for both uh, tropical cyclones and the temperate uh, cyclones only one or two variations are there uh, the diameter of uh, tropical cyclones is less when compared with the temperate cyclones 
uh, and the wind speed of uh, uh, tropical cyclones is also less when compared with the temperate uh, cyclones but the tropical cyclones uh, um, will give more rainfall when compared with the temperate uh, cyclones only the basic difference between these two types of cyclones is uh, tropical cyclones uh, will occur near the in between tropics uh, temperate cyclones will occur uh, in between the 30 degrees and 60 degrees of both uh, uh, north and south uh, uh, latitudes next so we, we discussed about the uh, distribution of sorry we discussed about the three types of rainfall uh, convectional rainfall orographic rainfall and cyclonic uh, uh, rainfall so how the uh, rainfall is distributed throughout the uh, world uh, rainfall across the globe rainfall is heavy on the eastern coast between the latitudes of 30 degrees and uh, sorry 10 degrees and 30 degrees of north and south of the equator means you you should remember that generally uh, the rainfall is more near the uh, surrounding areas of the equator uh, latitudes in between 30 degrees and uh, 10 degrees and 30 degrees both side uh, both north side and uh, south side reason is the direction of trade winds uh, as we know due to the effect coriolis effect trade winds uh, uh, move in a specific uh, uh, direction uh, they uh, move from high pressure area to low pressure area there they will uh, uh, con the air consist of moisture in the tropical zone due to the high temperature uh, generally the temperature uh, due to high temperature the air will consist of more water vapor and it will give heavy uh, rainfall so we can say that uh, the rainfall will be more near the equatorial uh, zone next uh, uh, the rainfall decreases towards the western coast when compared with the east coast of the oceans uh, western coast will get uh, uh, less rainfall because of uh, land sorry that is the uh, winds direction uh, uh, is more wind uh, wind direction will be faced towards the east side in the tropical zone so that's why in uh, west areas western coast of uh, tropical areas will get less rainfall but at the same time uh, in the tropical zone due to westerlies the rainfall is heavy between the latitudes of 40 degrees and 60 degrees of north and south of the equator on the west coast so simple we can say uh, near the equator east coast will get uh, more rainfall uh, near the uh, uh, temperate zone in the temperate zone due to the effect of westerlies uh, the western coast will get more rainfall so uh, means the distribution of rainfall is depend upon the direction of winds that is trade winds and western winds so tra trade winds will help uh, for getting of more rainfall eastern coast of the equator next uh, the western coast of uh, temperate zones will get more rainfall uh, due to the influence of uh, winds called westerlies so this is the one basic uh, uh, criteria for the distribution of uh, rainfall due, uh, we can observe some differences generally low pressure areas especially around the equator receive high rainfall than the high pressure areas as we know the high pressure uh, area air move towards the low pressure area but the low pressure area uh, air due to its light weight it move towards higher altitude and uh, uh, there the air cools down and gives rainfall so that's why uh, generally low pressure areas will form near the uh, where the temperatures are high generally the temperatures will be high near the equator uh, that leads to the formation of low pressure area as we discussed uh, tropical uh, low pressure uh, belt uh, so there the rainfall will be more uh, next rainfall is higher over the oceans than the uh, continent uh, as we know the oceans uh, which are called uh, water bodies there there is a more chance to the uh, evaporation process so oceans consist of wider spread area 
uh, on the globe. Uh, they consist of water bodies consist of around seven occupied seventy uh, one above percentage of the area. So the oceans, the evaporation, condensation, precipitation, this process uh, uh, continues more in the um, ocean area, water bodies. So that is one phenomena. So we can conclude that uh, the rainfall is more on the oceans when compared with the continental uh, parts. Uh, next, if you observe how the distribution of rainfall, where uh, the rainfall is more, where the rainfall is less. If you observe, uh, what is the world's wet wettest place, uh, means where the highest rainfall is recorded. Uh, that is uh, India, um, Mass in Rome, uh, in uh, Kasi Hills, near Kasi Hills in Meghalaya, India. The highest average annual rainfall uh, ever recorded in the world is uh, 11,871 millimeters of rainfall has occurred in Massin Rock. Average, not in a specific uh, uh, year. The annual average rainfall um, maximum is more in Massin Rock. That is considered as the world's uh, wettest place. Next, what is the world's driest place where the average rainfall is very, very less? Uh, that recorded uh, in the Atacama Desert in the borders of uh, the South American countries, Peru and Chile. Uh, there, the average rainfall, annual rainfall is below 10 millimeters. So that, uh, that's why the surrounding area uh, became a desert, Atacama Desert. Uh, so this is uh, the, uh, considered as the driest place on the earth on average. So the standard instrument for the measurement of rainfall is rain gauge. Uh, we, you might uh, uh, remember we discussed about rain gauge, how, how to uh, measure uh, the rainfall using rain gauge. We discussed it in the seventh class. Uh, that is the important uh, uh, things. So in the today's uh, uh, class, we discussed uh, about orographic uh, uh, rainfall, uh, explain about orographic rainfall. Next, what is rain shadow uh, region? The region uh, which won't get uh, rainfall due to this uh, uh, orographic rainfall is called as rain shadow region. The area which won't get uh, uh, rain or which get less rainfall is called as rain shadow region. So what are the uh, two types of uh, uh, cyclones? Tropical cyclones and uh, uh, temperate uh, uh, cyclones. Uh, these two types, almost all uh, these two cyclones, formation of cyclonic cyclones and uh, uh, getting rainfall through the cyclones uh, is the same. But the only the difference is that uh, tropical cyclones uh, form near the in between the tropical uh, latitudes. The temperate cyclones uh, uh, form in between the temperate uh, uh, latitudes. So that is the uh, difference. So with this, uh, uh, the lesson uh, completed, but I will, uh, you better to recapitulate the important uh, points that we discussed uh, in the whole lesson. So we, we discussed about uh, one of the important uh, uh, sphere is atmosphere. Atmosphere is the main cause for the existence of life on the Yet, as we know. So in this lesson, we discussed the basic components and elements of the atmosphere. We discussed about the uh, structure of uh, uh, atmosphere, uh, important layers in the atmosphere. So next, uh, we also discussed about the components in atmosphere. As we discussed, the atmosphere consists of different gases, uh, dust particles, so water vapor, uh, and these all, uh, so th those are the components. Uh, the gases existed in the atmosphere is the main cause for the uh, existence of life. Uh, next one, we discussed about uh, uh, winds. Uh, we discussed uh, the planetary winds. Uh, um, next one is seasonal winds, local winds. And in that, uh, again, planetary winds are divided into uh, three types, so trade winds, westerlies, easterlies, on the basis of their direction. Next, we discussed about uh, pressure and uh, 
pressure belts the pressure uh, uh, will be more where the temperatures are uh, less uh, the pressure will be less where the temperatures are uh, more and we discussed about uh, uh, pressure belts low equatorial low pressure belt uh, subtropical high pressure belt subpolar low pressure belt and the polar high pressure uh, belts and we also discussed about uh, normal lapse rate means uh, the temperatures uh, uh, will decrease uh, while we are going uh, to the higher altitudes that is called as normal uh, lapse rate next we discussed about uh, humidity and uh, relative humidity uh, humidity uh, means as the uh, length the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere is called as humidity relative humidity is the uh, proportion of the maximum capacity of the uh, water vapor holding capacity of uh, air in a specific uh, temperature in specific area and the actual uh, uh, water vapor that existed in that air at the uh, same temperature and same pressure the ratio is called as relative humidity and we discussed the uh, important process uh, that takes place in the atmosphere uh, the important uh, uh, steps of process called as evaporation means water turning into water vapor we discussed about condensation uh, water vapor turning into water next precipitation the reaching of uh, uh, water in the form of uh, rainfall fog hail uh, is called as precipitation next uh, in the two days class we discussed about uh, types of uh, uh, rainfall so these are the important uh, uh, concepts that we uh, learnt in this particular uh, lesson uh, as you know the uh, lessons are topics of physical geography uh, they, they are uh, new some of the concepts are new to uh, the students uh, some are familiar uh, but you, you we should uh, Uh, become familiar we should become well versed so only when you uh, read the lesson uh, more more maximum times so i am appealing uh, you students uh, uh, to read uh, the lesson uh, maximum number of uh, times and try to answer the uh, questions that we uh, mentioned in this uh, uh, particular uh, lessons uh, so with this uh, um, i will conclude um, the lesson um, we discussed uh, five classes important uh, topics uh, so i am uh, thanking all the uh, officials colleagues and students for giving me this opportunity uh, to teach the lesson for ninth class uh, uh, students thank you all